Here we are taking a look at the Three Sigma bulk bag unloading system. What we're looking at here is a short frame. We have a hopper up in the top section here, which is at a 60 degree angle. When we set a bag in, the bag is going to sit up in the top part of this hopper. We'll use vertical vibration to shake that bag. That bag will be shaped, as we're seeing right now, the bag will come right on down to the bottom of this hopper forming the shape that's 60 degrees. For many materials, we never use the vibrator once we start discharging product, only to shape the bag. With others, we may cycle it on and off, which is determined during setup. What we're also looking at here is the Three Sigma access chamber. Now this is, there's other units on the marketplace today, but this is the largest access chamber available. When I say that, you'll see how much room is available to, to get your hands in, to work inside of this, where the, where the cylinders have been mounted out of the way so you can have easy access. The whole idea has been op for the operator to have easy access. Also connected to this is dust collection. As you'll see here, pulling on this access chamber at all times and later, then part of the dust collection will be used to actually suck the material out of the bag and collapse that bag. Further, you'll see down here is our, our switch, which is going to raise and lower our clamp. It's all air actuated as well as an air actuated interlock on the door. With this particular system, going through this discharge tube, going out through a slide gate, and at the bottom this will be a mature eductor which we're going to automatically convey this material. So that's the entire system. Let's take a look quickly at how the access chamber works and how do we contain dust within the unit. The first thing you'll notice is that the bulk bag is contained within this access chamber. So if you do get a material spill, it's within a chamber opposed to being in your plant environment. To access the bag, we see the clamp is already up. So you get up into here, like with any bag. We're going to place the bag out of slope over our inlet tube. We're going to have to close the door due to the interlock. And then we're going to bring the clamp down and seal it. Now at this point, you're going to be safe to open the bag without material spillage. As you can see now, the bag is sealed to this outlet spout, which goes down through our chute and into the process. So, we come in, we'll untie the bag, and at this point, the material will begin to flow. So once the bag is empty, what we're going to do is come over the dust that's been being pulled on the access chamber the entire time. We're just going to close this valve. We would then proceed to open up this valve, which is connected to the spout here. As the system is closed below, the only place now to pull is to evacuate the air that's in this chamber all the way up to the bag and suck the dust out. Now the critical factor to keep the material off of your plant floor at the end comes down to operator uh, usage. We always recommend we're done, before we undo the clamp, is to come back in here with your tie, tie the bag off, so that if there is any material left in that bag, we don't, we don't have it flowing on the floor. We raise the clamp, and you're ready to, to change out to the next bag.